Hello everybody, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. My name is Arctic Wolf and this is episode 8. In our last episode we set up a tools line to Indianapolis here with this bald one. Let's look at that. And he's dropping off $154,000 worth of tool every trip. Which is not bad. But today what we need to do, is we need to balance these lines. We've got some stations that are way over, some stations that are way under. Uh, we need to balance the food line and the tools line. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, like, if we go in here to our grain lines, grain truck one, let's go to the vehicles, grain truck one. It's got a bunch of vehicles in here, but they're all... Like, we should use these ones. Actually, that can carry the grain. It carries five. It's the same. It's exactly the same. So, we'll use these ones for... There we go. And then the same thing on grain, grain two. them go faster and carry more so that will improve throughput then we get this guy here remember how we got this double header with with all the things yeah let's do a bald one on that one I'm gonna get, give him a few more capacity there it would appear that this guy needs a lot more. Send him back. See, he's got too many. better. Add a couple more. And he's probably going to have to be a bald one too. Okay, the logs and the planks in situation, we need to do the same thing. Figure out how many is on the... How many is it? It's on the platform how many the train can hold to make them two numbers match Carry 203 logs. That's a lot. Like, how's this one doing? 98, 79. That's not quite right. That'll work for him. Oh, this guy needs a lot more. Okay, we found the limit to what a bald one can hold. Apparently it's 33 cars. 
least these cargo cars like this. So what we're trying to do here is figure out once they get cleaned off, how many is on there after they deliver it and come back. And then you set them to have that much plus a little bit extra for cargo space. And that cuts down your wait time. They're using the boat. They're actually using the boat. needs to have an upgrade. Okay, so them are our new passenger trains. Oh, it has to be that one for food. Kansas City. Kansas City has a... Oh, it won't show up because it's a tram. Fantastic. So all these are old and outdated. Want to replace them with these ones. There we go. In the last episode, <coughs> I asked about how we should get the tools from here over to Indianapolis, over here, or Kansas City rather. Yeah, this is Indianapolis. Now, if we set up a truck stop here, and then we configure 
this train station to have a freight line next to it. And then we configure this station to have a freight line in it. And then we can put a cargo dock on this shipyard here. We'll put a sh cargo dock on this one here. And then a truck station there. A drop off point on this truck station here. And then another line coming off of there. And then we could put in a cargo station drop off right here and deliver tools. That would be the minimalist, like adding the least amount of stuff to the network to get it done. We wouldn't have to add any extra lines as far as drawing roads, train tracks, stuff like that. It's all there. We just need to plop down a couple of truck stops and uh, configure a couple of train stations and it's done. We might have to run one more train line down here, parallel to this one. So I think that's the way we're going to go about doing this. Now, to confirm that I got everything in place on the, on the way back, I'm going to draw the lines in, and then I'll put the vehicles in from the other line coming back this way. So, I start from here to there. Pick up the tools. Unload the tools. truck 
make you light teal because of your truck. Tools to Kansas City truck. And I spelled truck wrong. What is a trucy? That's better. Okay. The train line coming in. So there to there. Call that one tool struck one. And then new line. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. I forgot. Ha. Huh. That makes it work. Okay. New line. This cargo to that cargo. Purple. Call this a tools ship. Route. Tools to fork port. everything so if I go let's go with two there
Oh yeah. Hi Dilly. You need a connection. Use our new Durana castle, it can carry a hundred. No, it's light purple. That's everything. Well, there we have it. We've got our new tool lines hooked up to Kansas City. These tools are taking a long trip to get over there. Like, okay. Let's just follow it along. It starts here. Let's just say it starts here at this, these logs. He drives all the way down here, drops off the logs, turns them into planks. The planks train brings them all the way back over here and drops them off. And they get turned from planks to tools. And then this train here takes them over there. And whatever doesn't get used by the town gets put on this platform. And then the trucks take it down to this train station where this train gets loaded up and when he gets full he leaves and drops it off here transfers it from the train to the boat and then he'll take it over here and drop it off Then these trucks drive it to the train station down here and drop it off and then this train station <laughs> holy cow Comes all the way down here and drop them off here and then this truck station will take it drop it off into the city. So it's like nine stops I think I counted. One, well to start one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to count going across from here to there. Got six, seven, Eight, nine, yeah, nine, nine stops from logs to delivered tools. That was complicated. But all right, holy cow! <clears throat> Look at my money. Look at our budget chart. This is when we put in the new line over on the other side of the river, and then, yeah. That was what we spent today. Oh, we need more people on the passenger lines. Kansas City to High Point needs more...
capacity. We optimized all of our lines and we tied in tools to Kansas City. And if you look down here, our account, 88 million. Let me get to the right spot. There we go. 80, 88, 89 million. We're doing really, really good. We have no loan. Everything's making money. Like you just you just don't pay attention to this. Cause that negative one point eight is getting outdone by the three Wow, three million dollars to bring food to McKinney from here. That's amazing. So yeah, we've got plenty of money rolling in. I think we want to turn up the date speed to one. So there, date speed is now at one. We should get unlocks faster. But that's going to do it for today. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of this channel and this playlist, and you like what I'm doing here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know exactly when my videos come out, hit that bell icon. And have a great day. With that, Arctic Wolf, out.